All right, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. This is Ballroom Feed, and today we're gonna to talk about what is a swivel, a swivel type turn. In rhythm or Latin, even in, like, in club dances, we have talked about a few different turn types. I wanna preface again how I set up normal walking steps using the two floorboards. I go into a little more detail in the spot turn video. We're going to even more detail on ballroomfeed.com. You can check out like hundreds of videos we have on there, different techniques and things. So when I do a swivel specifically, we're gonna define it as I'm turning on, I'm turning in the same direction as the foot I'm standing on and changing directions, okay? So if I stand on my right foot, I'm turning to the right, I'm originally moving towards you, but I make this swivel and then now go walk away from you. These are all important facets of how I define this turn. If I walk forward my right foot, turn to the right, but I continue to move towards you, that would be a pivot. It'd be a different turn type. It was set up very similarly, but the result in terms of where I traveled was different. If I do that here from the side, if I walk forward my right foot and turn to the right, I could swivel and change directions to now walk over here. Or if I were to go on the right foot and turn to the right and pivot and then travel backwards in this direction, different kind of turn, that's a pivot. Today we're just doing swivels, right? So same side, same direction, changing the direction I was traveling. When I set a swivel up, I set it up on normal two tracks. I don't have to walk on one, I don't have to walk across myself. I still walk directly forward. So you can see my balls of my feet get their own floorboards, but when I have turnout, I get these two tracks that are shared equally here. I transfer all of my weight onto the standing leg. I turn my shoulders first like we do in pretty much all kinds of turns. I turn to the direction of the leg I'm standing on, and I unwind myself coming through this neutral position so now I could walk on my left foot and change directions, right? So this is what we're gonna call a swivel. Really commonly you see these done in, in succession. So I'd walk forward my right foot and turn to the right, walk forward my left foot and turn to the left, and the follower could do this, typically holding onto the leader and go back and forth, turning on the right foot to the right, on the left foot to the left, still walking on the two tracks every single time, and the biggest troubleshoot we can say immediately is trying to get all of the weight on that foot makes it much more effective. If you start to turn while still having weight on the back foot, you'll start to turn and the momentum of still transferring the weight will throw you backwards over the top. So get everything you can onto that foot fully, finish the whole forward step, then rotate through and that's your swivel. We got hundreds of videos on ballandfeed.com. Make sure you like this video, comment other techniques you want to see, and uh, we'll see you next time on Ballandfeed. See ya.